Do you need a monitor for your business or personal life and want to save money too? Well, introducing the super energy efficient Philips 24 inch LCD monitor with power sensor. Hey everyone, Ricky here from Ricky's Tech Talk and in today's video, I'm going to unbox, set up my monitor and give you the key details. Also sharing a personal review as well because I've had this monitor now for a good few weeks and I want to share with you some of its key highlights and some little negative bits that can be changed or adjusted. Taking a closer look at the front of our box here, we can see it's from their B line. It's 23.8 inches or 60.5 centimeters. This is always measured diagonally across your display. It's an LCD monitor with an LED backlight has 1920 by 1080 full HD resolution. And it mentions one of its key selling points here is the super low power consumption, which is good for the price and also very good for the environment and our world around us. Shifting to the right hand side of the box, we've got the IPS wide viewing angle. It has a three sided frameless design, which is always impressive. And it has a power sensor, which senses when you are away from your monitor. So it has infrared sensors that detects and it has a smart ergonomic base with height, tilt, swivel, rotate options available. And finally, it just mentions that it has HDMI as well as other connections. Looking at the top of your box, it gives you detailed instructions on how to remove your monitor safely so you don't damage yourself or damage the monitor. This is a new style of design of unpacking a monitor that I haven't seen before. So with your monitor laid down flat on the desk, it simply just opens up and everything is here in front of you. So let's see what we get in the box. We start with our paperwork. Our first option is our quick start guide that will give you helpful information or you can leave a comment below underneath the like button, are happy to help. Warranty and safety information and then we just have more information in other languages. We've got our energy efficiency, which is C grade. And then you have a disc with drivers and information on there too, which would include the manual. So moving on to included cables, we've got a HDMI cable here and one thing I do like is they've got a new paper twist string on them. So again, thinking about the environment. Our next option is our display cable, again with that new paper twist thread option. You will receive a EU plug as well as a UK 3 pin plug. So moving on now, we go on to our base. So very ergonomic design to this monitor, a lot of options and flexibility. So just taking out the base here, it's a plastic front, but with the price point that's understandable. On the back, you've got metal, quite solid, with little grips as well. Uh, it's metal on the back, and then you've got plastic on the front, and you've got two metal teeth. And as you can see, it can rotate around, and I think it's about 180 degrees each side it can rotate, which is great. Then we move on to our column. So our column and connection panel that will connect into the back of the monitor. So again, this is just in some packaging. I'm gonna remove this. And as you can see, it's got a metal plate at the top and then it's metal down the column, actually, aluminium, I'd say softer metal, and then some plastic in some parts, but it looks really nice, actually, a nice design to it. You've got some cable management and that's where the two teeth go. Now everything's been removed from the top section, we lift that up and we get to see our display here. Again, this is in some packaging to protect your monitor during transport or for me where it's getting sent around to many other youtubers for review so it's quite a small panel compared to what i've seen before but it's nice also to use a smaller panel sometimes but as you can see most of the body is plastic and there's some sort of connection ports there that will show in greater detail but also that's where your column stand goes so you've got your power connection you've got hdmi you've got some usbs you've got your display port you've got a headphone jack You've got some USBs as well, some upstream options there. So that's really good to see. So let's connect our column and stand up. So once you've placed your column into your stand with those two teeth, if you turn the base around, there's a locking nut, as you can see here. Just tighten this up. You can either use a screwdriver if you want to, but it's got a twist thread, quite easy to do. And with my strength, it'd be okay. Or you could use a screwdriver, as I mentioned. And that will set up your column and stand. And then now what you need to do is place it on the back of your monitor. So bringing in the column and stand and the monitor at the same time, there's two teeth at the top that you need to put in first. 
as you see I try and line them up and put them in clamp it down and you'll hear a clip there is a clip there you can see me lifting with my thumb that will actually bring it back out that's just underneath the column that's a little bit harder to show on video but you can clip it nicely back in and then it's time to set up so switching round and you see our monitor set up here and I just want to highlight there's a little stick out reminding you not to peel the film off that's across your display so it might look like there's a film on there that needs to be peeled off don't do it with the monitor now set up, it's time to share the key details and share my personal review. I've been really lucky to have this monitor for about a month and I've enjoyed using it for different purposes, such as consistent daily working with social media, with my day job at RNIB, which is very document heavy and email use, and it's been fantastic. So let me share some of the key details and let you make the right decision that's good for you. Also, one side note here is that there is quite a lot of accessibility settings, which I'm really pleased to see. So let's start with our display. So it's a 23.8 inch or 60.5 centimeter size display and it's measured diagonally from corner to corner. It's an LCD monitor with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. That gives us a full HD resolution, which is really important. So let's talk about the power sensor and the light sensor, which is included in this monitor to really help with the environment, reduce your energy costs and save the environment, which is really important, which has a built in people sensor that transmits and receives harmless infrared signals to decide if a user is present. It automatically reduces the brightness and saves you up to 70% on energy costs, which is help prolong the life of your monitor too by turning the display off so as you see it dims the display and then it will completely turn the display off and that will save 70 percent on energy costs and also it prolong the life of your monitor which is really good then it has the light sensor which is perfect brightness with minimal power so it uses a smart sensor to adjust the picture brightness depending on the light conditions around you giving you the perfect image with minimal power usage. So for me here, really bright light, really effective lighting around me will really help with the monitor and it will choose the best option. You will need to turn up both of these settings on though in the menu options, which we'll go through. So as I mentioned, it is an LCD monitor, but it has an IPS display, which uses advanced technology that gives you extra wide viewing angles of 178 degrees, making it possible to view the display from almost any angle, even in 90 degree pivots. So you have a lot of ergonomic design, which we'll talk about. With the IPS, it gives you a remarkable crisp images vivid colours and making it ideal not only for photos, films and web browsing but also professional applications that demand colour accuracy and fantastic brightness at all times. And that's so true for myself. So as I mentioned I've used this for my social media brand and I've also used it for my daily work. My daily work is quite heavily intent on email uses and Word documents. So I'm forever typing or reading which is really helpful for me having the large monitor that is crisp, clean and easy to view. I can also swivel it around to show other people if I need to. If it was in a very busy office environment, multiple people would be able to see your screen having that IPS wide angle option. One option that Philips do include in their monitors is a smart image preset. The smart image preset is an exclusive technology from Philips that analyzes the content displayed on your screen and optimizes the display performance. This is a user-friendly interface that allows you to select various modes like office, photo, movie, game, economy and also off if you want to and it's best suited to whatever you're viewing so if you're watching a movie you set it to movie if you're playing a game as i've played a game here with my xbox series x it works perfectly okay you set it to game and you get the best options it automatically changes your color saturation the sharpness of your image for the ultimate display viewing option really nice here to see when set into the economy mode, it offers you a major power savings. Again, you're helping the environment and you're prolonging your display. So with this monitor, you do get a little bit of options when it comes to gaming. So I did test out the gaming options with the Xbox Series X. It doesn't meet the 4K resolution options that we see with the Philips Momentum, but that's a dedicated console monitor. And I'll leave a link in the video description if you're looking for that. For a general purpose monitor that you can connect in and away you go, this is 
effortless, it's smooth, and it has adaptive sync technology. So this monitor allows you to work and play at the same time, and you can choose which one you want to do. So it won't have uh, choppy or it won't have broken frames in the gameplay. You'll be able to enjoy fluid performance. And remember, not a gaming monitor though, but if you're looking for that option, check out the Philips Momentum monitor that I have also made a review on. Again, the link will be in the description. So as you know, being visually impaired is important to have a monitor that has accessible features and makes it easy for me to use on prolonged periods of time, such as my daily job is at least seven and a half hours a day, if not longer, then I move into video content creation, I move into reviews or script writing. So I'm on a monitor about 10 hours to 11 hours a day, so it's really important to have something that is suitable for me. So with this monitor, you've, you've got two Vryland Eye Comfort Control. So two Vryland is an eye comfort standard that prevents eye strain caused by prolonged computer usage. With a two Vryland Eye Comfort certification, Philips Display ensures flicker-free technology, low blue mode, and no disturbing reflections. So wide viewing angle, less reduction on image quality, from different angles, so you'll be able to see from great angles, as I mentioned with the IPS display. You've got less eye fatigue with flicker-free technology. Due to the way the brightness is controlled on an LED backlight, some users experience flicker sensations from the display, which cause tiredness, fatigue. With this option, Philips regulates the brightness and reduces that flicker for more comfortable viewing and prolonged viewing if you need to. You also have the low blue mode for easy eye productivity. So thinking about your well-being, it's great to have this option that Philips gives you that mode to reduce the ultraviolet rays and short wavelength blue light rays the LED displays cause. So this would cause eye fatigue, eye damage over a long period of time, but having this option juices that feeling of fatigue, the tiredness, and it removes that harsh blue light, especially late night when you're maybe looking at your monitor deep in the night and you haven't got natural light coming in. Finally, one other option here around accessibility is the easy read mode. So making it easy to read large documents or complex data sheets. So you can change this option in the smart image presets. And this will turn your monitor like a grayscale, making it really easy to use. For me, it was fantastic to see, especially with long emails, even when reading my scripts, it's very easy and really adjustable to see that these options are here. So for a monitor, there are quite a lot of accessible options, which I've mentioned above, and it's good to see someone who is visually impaired and uses a monitor for many hours per day, that they have these options here. And it's a big tick from me. So well done, Philips, for that. So moving on to ports and connectivity now, you have a range of different options here. As this monitor is designed for an office use, you've got a lot of office ports. So let me explain what you get. So on the back, you've got your power connection, and then next to that, you've got a dedicated switch. So you don't just put this into sleep mode, you can actually switch off at the back, again, reducing that power and really helping to save the environment, which I really do like. Next to that, you have your display ports. You've got a DVI connection. You have a HDMI connection, which I'm using with my Mac mini and also my Xbox Series X. Then you have a D-sub, you have an audio in, a headphone jack, a USB upstream, so you link this in to your PC or your desktop. You've got two USBs at the back, and then on the side, you've got further two USBs. One of the USBs on the side is a fast charging option, so you can use that to charge up your smartphone or charge accessories that you may need. Maybe another HDMI would have been really helpful, but that's a nice option to see. You've got loads of different ports to use. When using a monitor for a very prolonged time like myself or a daily job where you're sat at a monitor for about six to nine hours a day, you really want an ergonomic design. So with this monitor, you've got a really smart ergonomic base with cable management option. So you have a lot of different options of changing, moving and flexing your monitor in different ways. So the first option is your tilt option. You've got minus five to plus 35. You have your height, which is 150 centimeters in height adjustment 
which is really impressive to see. Sometimes it doesn't go that high. Then you have your swivel, which is 180 degrees each way from center point. So basically you're turning it all the way around, which is really helpful if you need to show a colleague what you're doing or just remind them that they need to do this by a certain time. And then you have the option to rotate or pivot your monitor 90 degrees, which is great for stocks and shares, and it could be very useful for social media. Photo editing is also done this way. So when it comes to the design of the base, it's really nice to see here. The feel of it is plastic, underneath is metal, the column is made from metal as well, aluminium maybe, and you do have some cable management. It is a plastic design, but the price point is very low. It is good to make that mixture of having the features compared to the design. When the price goes up, you see that the more money is spent in the design and the way it feels. This is fantastic for general use in an office, and I feel like it does the job that needs to be done. One thing that doesn't do the job is the typical built-in speakers. Again, they're not fantastic. You've got two speakers that are two watts each. As most of us do, we use either gaming headsets or for me, I use a normal work headset if I'm on calls with teams, but that's okay. That's a typical thing that we know and use all the time. With the design of the base, you can put on a sort of wireless charger if you needed to, feed it through the cable management into one of the USBs, even the fast charging one, and then you've got that option there. It's a squared base plate, um, plastic on the front, plastic around the design of the frame as well. You've got the three-sided frameless design, which is really nice. It is a plastic design on the bottom frame, but it's got this brushed effect that looks nice. You've got your branding from Philips, you've got your monitor logo, and then you've got clear and easy visible menu buttons as well, which I really do like. So that's a nice option as well. Again, that fits into that accessibility settings. So talking about those buttons, let me explain what they do. So moving from right to left, we have our standby button. This will put your monitor into standby, or you could use a dedicated switch underneath to turn your monitor off. Moving to the left hand side, you then have your menu button. This is your OK button or confirmation button as well. The next two buttons to the left hand side will go up and down through the menu. And again, you need to go in here to turn the power sensor and the light sensor on to use those options, but quite easy, quite simple. You have to go in here also to change the volume or audio, depending which settings you already have on or off. You use the furthest button on the left to come out of the menu option. The next option is about your power sensor and the timing of it. So if you want your power sensor on or off and how time efficient it is. So depending how quickly it reduces that light, depending how quickly you move away. Your next option is your input. So you choose from VGA, DVI, HDMI or DisplayPort. And again, you can scroll through those and then confirm with the menu button. And then finally, you have your smart image preset, which you have the easy read, you have office, you have photo, you have movie, game, economy mode, low blue light mode, so that reduces that harsh blue light, or you can have off. So those are all the settings that you have there with the menu options. A very detailed menu as well. So going into the menu, you have a lot of different options here and you can change and adjust the monitor depending on your setup and the way you want it. That's really good to see. As I've mentioned so much about this monitor, it is designed to meet the environmental standards. So it has been designed by Philips to reduce operating costs for large businesses and it meets environment standards, which is really important with the power sensor, the light sensor, with the power options, with the different options you can change on this monitor. It reduces those costs for you up to 70%, which is fantastic. It then means it prolongs the life of the monitor, which is really good as well. And all of these features come in a great price point as well. So anywhere from 200 to 239 pounds here in the UK. And I will put a link in the video description to the best price when I've created this video. Also, there will be a link to Philips UK so you can go and learn more if you want to. However, if you have any questions or queries, make sure to leave a comment underneath that like button as I will be more than happy to help. From me, Ricky, thank you so much for watching. It's very much appreciated and have a great day. If you want to watch further videos from Ricky's Tech Talk, check out these two videos on the left hand side. And if you haven't listened to me in my previous part of this video and you haven't subscribed, make sure to click my face and subscribe now. Ring that notification bell and you'll be updated once I release new videos.